Hello my viewers. Uh, someone asked me to make a video on duckless mini splits and that's a video that well if I were to really make a video on troubleshooting duckless mini splits would well that would take hours and hours and hours and hours because there are so many different brands every single brand has its own types of uh, control boards and, and ways of troubleshooting it and things like that I give you an idea how many brands there are let me name off a few here and this is not going to be all of them this is just a few uh, Train, Lennox, Miller, Westinghouse, LG, Carrier, Mitsubishi, Dakin, Gree, Toshiba, Sanyo, Frigidaire, Frederick, Napoleon, Fetters, Shinko, Climair, Ream, Aircon, Admiral, uh, Everstar, Winter, SBTs, Panasonic, Higher, Toyo, Fuji, York. I'm sure I missed a bunch of them, but to give you an idea, that's a few names right there. Okay, now there is a, a couple of brands, though, that do something a little bit different. And what they have is, is a mini split that is made to work on solar systems where you don't need to have an inverter because the input voltage is 48 volts DC uh, and that would be a split cool I'll put the link down below or you know in the description so you can check it out it's something that to me is very interesting so if you were really into solar systems and being able to run a, say an 18,000 BTU mini split on just solar panels that would be a good way to go most efficient way to go anyway as to many of the other brands out there they offer of course the 120 and 240 volt systems and in some cases 277 volt systems in many uh, places around the world. The United States isn't really a, a big market yet, but it's, it is growing. Uh, where the duckless mini splits have been very widely used in other places around the world that, well, where you need air conditioning and with the exception of the United States, like I said. Being able to make repairs to a ductless mini split is that you have to call the manufacturer's tech support. And to get cooperation from the tech support, you have to be a tech, an actual working tech or contractor to get information and the techs that are on the other line will expect you to understand what they are asking you to do because if you are somebody who is like well how do I take the gas out of the system uh, chances are they're going to tell you to get a contractor to uh, do the job the, the, what it is is they don't want say uh, the happy homeowner or the do-it-yourselfer to work on their air conditioning systems. Whether the reasoning is um, money or, or, or the reasoning is because they just don't want the happy homeowner to screw up the system, I'm not really too sure. You can figure it out for yourself. But that's just the way it is with mini splits. So, you see, that's why I'm making this video very short, just to explain to you that if you want to buy a mini split system, that you're going to have to have a technician work on it every single time, unless, of course, you happen to be a technician. So, thank you very much.